Hey everyone, Greg with Bright Spots. Thanks for tuning in today and welcome back to the Blackstone. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are going to cook some breakfast today. Um, on a heavier note, we're going to do our homemade French toast with Texas toast. Um, we're going to go over the ingredients. Um, we're going to go over the process. The same as always in all my other videos that you watch, we're going to go over the taste test, some do's and don'ts. Um, if we have some, this is a pretty simple uh, recipe. Um, not much you can mess up, but batter is everything here. So going over the batter um, instructions and the ingredients in that process, there's a pro tip in there that uh, we'll put in at the end along with the full recipe as well. So if that sounds good to you. Let's get to it. Okay, everybody, ingredients time. Um, for this homemade French toast, you're gonna have eggs, you're gonna have milk, you're gonna have a little bit of uh, uh, water, you're gonna have some cinnamon, and you're gonna have what we found to be really awesome, and I know everybody doesn't have access to this, but you might be able to find it online. Um, Vane, I think is how, they, how it's pronounced. It's a Mexican vanilla. Um, just very, very vibrant in taste. Um, when we go to Mexico, we like to bring back at least 12 of these, just because they're it's so awesome. Um, but you can use any vanilla, and we have used it vanilla uh, just from your local grocery store in the past so don't want to trip you up on that um, we're also going to have some smart balance butter uh, we're not going to use olive oil or avocado oil like you've seen in past videos we're going to go straight with the butter on this one and as you can tell right now i did a little addition to the breakfast and i have some links that are going on here right now kids love the links i like the links so without further ado if uh, that sounds good to you let's get to it Okay, so now let's go over the process here. The process, we're obviously taking the Texas toast. Why did I pick Texas toast? It's just thicker. It looks better. Um, you can use any bread. I've used um, raisin bread. I've used pumpernickel bread before. Um, I've used sourdough bread before. Um, all is, it's really good. Wheat, anything like that. But like I said um, earlier, the batter is what really matters here. Um, and I will put a picture of what the batter should look like. Um, and also, like I said, the tip at the end here will really help you mix all this together. Um, so let's get to this. I'm going to first off, start off with some smart balance butter here. Why am I using butter? For the flavor, it's just better. And um, I believe this batter should do this entire loaf so that'll also be helpful helpful for everybody and then you're just taking your bread dipping in one side and dipping in the other putting it right on top of that butter yeah this will definitely be enough for uh this whole entire loaf and it's just the process right the beauty of is of this is that you're actually getting all of the cinnamon on the on the bread as well the flavor is amazing there's a little tip for you. Whatever hand you're gonna be using to batter, don't reach into the loaf of bread with. I almost did that. So we got six pieces on here for right now. Yeah, smells outstanding. Again, this video is not about these links, but I do have to tend to them, so you get to see that too. Gonna put an extra uh, slice on here just so you can see the process. So we're dipping on one side, dipping on the other, and letting it fall on the butter. So how do you know when the French toast is ready to be flipped? Again, that golden brown around the edge. You can start to see over on this side where it's looking like the, uh, the batter is starting to cook that ran off from the bread. Perfect, right there. How long has this been on here for? About a minute and a half. About a minute and a half. Now obviously, if they're not done, you can flip them back over and let them brown up properly. Um, but if you have a hot griddle, I mean that minute and a half might even be a little bit too long. Maybe more along the minute side. But look at that golden brown. And then when we plate this up, gonna put some extra butter on top of there and some syrup 
Then what we like to do is we like to use our homemade maple syrup. Again, you do not have to use this. You can go to your local grocery store and get whatever you choose for your syrup. We like to uh, use our homemade maple syrup because with the butter, it is outstanding. Not gonna lie, my mouth is watering a little bit here. And there you have it, everybody. Our homemade French toast made on Texas toast. One thing left to do here, and you all know what it is, and that is to taste test this. But you can just see the butter and the syrup coming off. This is a golden brown. French toast. Oh man, <laughs> that is so good. How do you not eat an entire loaf of this? I know that's super bad and I can't believe I just even said that, but this is amazing. All right, everybody. So let's go over a couple of do's and don'ts. Um, one of the main ones I think is uh, whatever hand you're dipping the toast in with the batter, Obviously don't use that hand to reach into the, the loaf of bread because if you don't want to make a whole loaf, I mean, you're saturating the bread that's inside the bag, which is just kind of gross, right? So keep your hands separate. Um, maybe even take the bread out of the bag prior to, and then you could just rapid fire onto the griddle itself. Um, the other pro tip that I, I really um, think is important is using butter. You might even want to use, try real butter because real butter even has more of a salty flavor to it. And then when you mix it with whatever kind of syrup that you're using, um, delicious right absolutely delicious <clears throat> um yeah and then making sure that your griddle is hot um if it's lukewarm it's gonna it's not gonna sear up like we like to see that golden brown on that toast right um, we want that french toast to be golden brown because uh, it's good it's just a nice crispy flavor on the outside and the texture is real um also you don't want it to be really soggy in the, in the middle because that just kind of um, turns people off on french toast but that batter that I made and the recipe that we're going to show um, will make an entire loaf of Texas toast. So that's good. To, so that's good to know also. Um, pairing it back, that's kind of going to be a, a little trial run for you guys to go over. So yeah, there's the do's and don'ts. Okay, everyone, quick recipe, quick video this time. Uh, we got some more coming out. Like I said, we'll be doing them on the weekly. But if you found this video to be helpful, you're willing to try this. Um, if you do, please comment, like, share, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for those that continue to keep giving me comments and giving me some pointers. I don't know everything and I want to learn just like you guys do. So let's keep this collaboration going and I look forward to uh, the next one. Until then, see ya.